How's it going, Connor? Dave with the Charleston Post and Courier here. Hope you're well. Thanks for doing this. Just how do you approach practice every day? I mean, depth charts are depth charts. They don't really mean anything, but you know, your name's not the first name on the list sometimes. How do you approach that? And, and, you know, does that even cross your mind when it comes to the season? You know, of course, you know, depth charts are always on my mind. But for me, it's just every time I come in the building, just be the same guy. Just don't let anybody outwork me. Just working on being consistent, doing my job, you know, not trying to make any spectacular plays. Just go out there, consistent, doing my job every day. And also, Connor, you're not the first Connor to come in here and wear number 14. Does the other one ever remind you about that? Absolutely, absolutely. We've had a lot of talks about that. And uh, he's just a, he's a great role model to look up to. And of course, I'm trying to fill, fill his shoes, but also make a, leg, leg, a, leg, a legacy for my own. So, yeah. Dick Cox. Yeah. Connor, what do you think are your strong points that you bring to this team? And second part is, who is your accountability partner and what have you learned from them? So my accountability partner is Fabian Goodman. Uh, he's a walk-on defensive back as well. Uh, he's a freshman. Me and him have had – we have a good uh, relationship, and um, so we've definitely kept uh, each other accountable and just a great guy off the field as well as on the field. And um, what was the first part of the question? I'm sorry. What is your strong point in your game? What do you do? You think you really do well and bring to this team? I think I do a great job of leading the team, lead the offense. Um, again, like I said before, I'm not the type of guy that's – of course, we love explosive plays. We, we love, you know, moving the chains and all that stuff. But I just go out there, lead, be confident, calm, and just move the offense just down the field. That's it. Ben? Connor, I know we've heard a lot about Luke in, in spring ball, but just when he's played the way he has, how, how much does that help the quarterback room sort of push the competition? And, and how much can you all kind of embrace that, if at all? Yeah, Luke's a great leader, man. He, he can play. He can sling it. Uh, he definitely makes everybody compete even more. Like everybody just has to raise their game when we're going against Luke. So um, great guy on and off the field, and he's just a ball player. So he's been great to the group. Greg Hadley. Hey, Connor. Uh, I was just curious, what is, what is Coach Satterfield like, both, you know, as a position coach and maybe, you know, outside of that as well, just as a, just as a guy? He's a uh, he's a bro. I, I love Coach Sat. He's very uh, approachable and just personable, and easy to talk to. Uh, you can talk to him about anything. We've had a lot of conversations just outside of football, and uh, he's just he's been great so far, just teaching us, but also being like a mentor, another father figure and friend to us as well. So, I uh, love Coach Sat and just what he's what he's brought to the group so far. Colin Taylor. Connor, kind of sticking with that, but just now that you've been in the offense for pretty much the entire spring now, what are your impressions of it? And what do you feel like this offense will be able to do uh, come this fall? Yeah, we're going to do it all. Um, it's kind of similar to almost of like last year's offense, but uh, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it all, and uh, we're going to score some points this year. So, yeah. 